All right, to crack open the Bafang G0 F0 750 DC06. Obviously, you take it off. You've got these uh, little security um, star bits here, and they have like a little nipple in them, so you can't use a regular star bit. You have to use something like this, and this is, it's called a security bit. So this is a T20 security bit, and it'll slip right over the screws. And once that is out, you can kind of push down or kind of give it a give it a drop and the motor will come right out. Good news, looks like we have the 750. So you can see the planetary gear or the main gear inside this little uh, washer. And I have seen people in some videos, I don't know if it's bullcrap or not, I'm gonna figure that out, remove this little washer and toss it. Um, saying that causes some noise. I don't see how that causes anything. And then you can see obviously the full 750 instead of the, the partition 350, which is nice. So when I pulled the motor out, the planetary gears were attached. And I just kind of dropped them down in there so that I could spin them. I have already spun each one of them individually and they're real quiet. They feel real smooth. Honestly, they feel like they're really good quality. Uh, you'll hear me spinning them. There's a bit of a roar in that. If you can hear that, I'm gonna kind of. You hear that? So I think that's the rattle I was hearing for sure um, earlier, but I don't know that that's creating the roar, the whine. Uh, there is a keyed hole here. I don't know if you can see that little key. Uh, there is a a little um, magnetic key that goes back in the shaft. But let's come back over here and take a look at some magic. So what I've done here is I've got the motor plugged up um, and I've got my little uh, power trick uh, done here where I, where I can get power to the motor and the bike is on. So I'm gonna try to get this really, really close where you can hear the motor. And surprisingly and thankfully, I'm not hearing anything crazy. I'm gonna crank it up to like, I've got my uh, PAS set to nine. I'm gonna crank it up to three so that you can hear it. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, let's see. So this is PAS three cranked wide open. I honestly think that's pretty quiet. I mean, my voice is drowning out the sound. So that's probably 12 miles an hour or something like that. So certainly not something going on with the, with the motor. I'm gonna hit the brake, it's, it's turned on cruise control. Some wrap up thoughts on this. If you listen to the portion of the video just before now where I'm running the, the, the motor at PAS3, it does kind of have like a dry sound maybe, like a, like a dry bearing type sound. Um, and that is something that I think that it probably shouldn't have, but I didn't hear that crazy whine that we were getting. So I don't think that's what I'm chasing. I tend to think I'm getting more of that noise from in here. However, there are people that are making replacement gears for this. And that might be something that I investigate again when I was spinning it. You could kind of hear that clacky sort of slop. Um, earlier in the video, so I may put some new gears on at some point. I hate taking this back wheel off, it's a pain in the butt. Lastly, I want to say, I don't see anything that's damaged. When I spin the gears individually, they're nice and quiet. They feel right, they spin freely. I, I you know, pulled this mechanism out and spun each individual gear and felt them. Uh, I didn't really see any damage on the teeth when I cleaned them off. Maybe that's the lithium grease that kind of gave a false impression because it's white and so are the gears and it may just look mottled like something was wrong when it actually it was just grease. So I feel good in that I don't feel like there's something like wrong, wrong, uh, fundamentally wrong, broken teeth, broken bits, things floating around. I just am not certain what's causing the noise and probably next step as quiet as the motor is, is to replace the gears. Now, I am thinking also there may be just a resonance that's happening. So the resonance is going throughout the magnesium wheel, sort of magnifying the sound. Um, you know, so maybe a little extra lube will help dampen the resonance. I don't sense there's a lot of lube on this. And if you look like there's very little lube, you know, you can see. So I think it definitely needs a little bit more love. 
All right, I kept checking a couple things, uh, and I think I found the rat the rattle. So I put the gears back on. As you remember, the last time I spun it, I didn't have the gears. Now the gears are installed. I've got it on pass four. Now listen. Can you hear that? So I'm thinking we got some gears. It's got some issue. I also spun each one of those individually again and put my ear up to it. Two of them sounded really, really, you know, perfect. And one of them had kind of that dry, uh, sort of dry bearing sound. And uh, I think that uh, Daddy's gonna have to replace some gears post haste.